Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about vitamin D in full detail. Before this, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe the channel for getting more and more videos and support us. Okay. Now, starting with vitamin D. First point about vitamin D is that it is a fat soluble vitamin. Okay, it is an example of fat soluble vitamin. Now, vitamin D is not a strictly a vitamin since it can be synthesized in the skin okay it is synthesized in the skin so it is not strictly a vitamin and under most conditions this is the major source of vitamin d clear only when sunlight exposure is in a educate okay when suppose sunlight exposure decreases okay then this will lead to deficiency of vitamin d and in this case you have to take vitamin D as a diet in diet okay otherwise vitamin D in the form of diet is not required if you are getting sunlight exposure in a normal amount clear now coming to the formation of vitamin D how vitamin D is generated an active active form of vitamin D is calcitriol okay this is the active form of vitamin D calcitriol is the active form of vitamin D now how vitamin D is synthesized first so there is a compound which is known as 7 dehydrocholesterol okay this is the 7 dehydrocholesterol on this light falls okay on this compound 7 dehydrocholesterol EV is in this 10th position of steroid ring I am not going in a structure okay 9 and 10th of the steroid ring and uh, this compound in which 9 and 10th uh, 9 and 10th bond is broken is known as secostrol okay this is known as secostrol so this is secostrol and this will isomerize undergo thermal isomerization and uh, leads to formation of cholecalciferol okay cholecalci ferrol and this is known as vitamin d cholecalciferol is known as vitamin d so first there is photolysis of 7 dehydrocholesterol in this uv light breaks the bond between position 9 and 10th of the steroid ring so the ring is opened to form pre vitamin that is secostrol and this secostrol will undergo thermal isomerization and will lead to formation of cholecalciferol that is vitamin d clear now this is the formation of vitamin d now we are going to discuss the activation of vitamin D that is formation of calcitriol because calcitriol is the activated form of vitamin D. So we have formed cholecalciferol, okay, cholecalciferol. This cholecalciferol goes in liver and in liver one enzyme is present that is known as 25 hydroxylase and this 25 hydroxylase will hydroxylate the cholecalciferol at its 25th position and lead to formation of 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol okay 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol now it will go to kidney and in kidney one enzyme is present that is one alpha hydroxylase and this will hydroxylate at one position then the compound is 125 sorry 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol okay and this 125 and dihydroxy cholecalciferol is the activated form of vitamin d which is also known as calcitriol so you can please see you calcitriol means 3 oh is present okay in calci cal cholecalciferol 1 oh is present and 1 oh is added in liver okay and 1 oh is added in kidney so there will be 3 oh present in the calcitriol and it is the activated form of the vitamin d clear now coming to the action of vitamin d so the main functions the main function of the calcium the vitamin d is calcium absorption okay calcitriol increases calcium absorption the main function is the calcium absorption how it is operating this so in from blood the calcitriol will bind to intestinal cell suppose this is your intestinal cell okay so it will bind to receptors on intestinal cell calcitriol receptor and this this calcitriol receptor then goes to your dna and bind to 
first it will bind to receptor then this receptor complex come to the cell and will go and bind to the hormone response element okay and binding to the hormone response element it will direct finally transcription which will lead to finally translation of a protein that is known as cal binding okay and cal binding binds calcium along with it okay and this is the lumen of the intestinal cell and calcium is transported inside the cell and cal binding bind calcium with it so this is the mechanism of calcium absorption by the help of calcitriol clear now coming to the important point that is vitamin d deficiency in children and, and adults both so in the vitamin d deficiency disease rickets first disease here rickets and this rickets is basically of many types okay we will discuss the types of rickets in another video the rickets in this bones of the children this is disease seen in children first point is that this disease is seen in children and in this disease the bone is under mineralized okay the bone is under mineralized as a result of poor absorption of calcium okay this is the basic concept behind the disease now the second one is osteomalacia okay in osteomalacia is seen in adult and it is resulting from the same that is demineralization of bone okay especially it is seen in women okay who have little exposure to sunlight especially after several pregnancies clear and the third one to porosis there is and vitamin d is essential for prevention and treatment of osteomalacia in the elderly there is less evidence that it, it is beneficial in the vitamin d treatment is not so successful now coming to the different types of rickets so the first type is your vitamin d deficiency rickets the second type is vitamin d resistant rickets which is found to be associated with farconi syndrome okay the third one is your renal rickets okay this in, in several kidney diseases even if vitamin d is available calcitriol is not synthesized because to add activation of vitamin d that is formation of calcitriol involve one enzyme which is found in your kidney okay so if any disease related to kidney is occurring in a person then there will be chances of rickets vitamin d resistance means receptors is not working properly okay so this is the types of rickets now coming to the requirements so children must be given 10 microgram per day and your adults adults must be provided 5 to 10 with the same unit pregnancy in pregnancy women must be provided 10 microgram per day okay so this is the requirement of the vitamin d in different individuals vitamin d can also cause toxicity okay vitamin d is toxic in excess and so some infants infants are sensitive to intake of vitamin d as low as 50 microgram per day resulting in an elevated plasma concentration of calcium and this can lead to contraction of blood vessels increase bp due to contraction of blood vessels okay and the third one is your second one is your calcinosis calcinosis means the calcification of the soft tissues okay calcinosis means the calcification of the soft tissues clear so this is all about your vitamin d if you like the video please subscribe our channel and support us and please give your review regarding this video so thank you again